are you that person out there that you just keep wanting achieving, achieving and going and being, and you're that person that's out there that's like, hey, I should have more at this stage of my life. Maybe you've already had one career or two careers or three careers and you don't have the results that you want, or maybe you're just not happy at where you're at. Come together. Now you have this roadmap. Now you have the different little, these little steps that you need to take each day to achieve that thing within the week, within the month, within the three months, within the six months, within the year. You've already, you created your plan. Now it's just executing that plan. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for um, attending another one of our videos with Next Level Accountability. My name is Patrick Geary, and I'm honored to be with another one of our guides today, Carol um, Akabuchi. Is that correct how I said that, Carol? Yeah, that's good. Carol Yakabuchi. <laughs> Yakabuchi. What a wonderful name there. So we're really grateful that you've taken your time out of your day just to sit down and or stand up or watch Whatever you're doing to be, hopefully we'll bring you some value in today's uh, video that we what we put together today on accountability. Today's topic that we came up with is appreciating and liking where you are at right now in your life. So real quick, before we get started on the topic, I wanted to take a 30 seconds or a minute and have Carol go ahead and introduce herself to everybody. Hi, yes, everybody. I'm a guide here at Next Level Accountability with Patrick and um, my background is in manufacturing. I was IT manager and quality manager, and then I retired, and now I'm switching my life over and becoming a life coach, and so I'm very pleased to be with you, with you here today. Excellent there, and she's one of, I can just share with you guys, if you want some support and somebody to be able to like really get to know who you are, regardless, she's just one of those people that once you meet, she's, she's just going to be there with you for a long, long time. So today's topic on um, this video is going to be appreciating liking where you're at in your life. Did you want to elaborate a little bit on that, Carol? Oh, yeah, it's it's really true. And it happens to all of us at some point in our lives where we just look at where we're at and we just feel like, oh, my gosh, I should have more or I should have done more. Um, and you just, you know, start to feel sad and wondering, well, what can I do? How do I get out of this, this funk? How do I get out of this mode? When you're not in a in awareness and appreciation of what you have and, and appreciation of everything you've done in your life, you start to get sad and depressed and that can lead to sickness and it leads to withdrawal. And the more you withdraw you, from community and, and from others and from society, then the more it kind of spins on itself and the sadder and more depressed that you get. So we want to stop that and we want to, um, you know, get you feeling good about where you're at. Absolutely. And, and it's one word that you just keep going over and over in your, in your mind that keeps playing over and over when this starts to happen. It's this four letter word. Do you want to take a guess what that four letter word is, Carol? What is it? It's time, 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 <laughs> right? Your mind starts going on like, oh my goodness, what have I done with my time in my life? And as we get older, we all realize that, hey, we don't appreciate where we're at sometimes in our life because our time keeps moving on. Father time keeps going. And we sit back and thinking like what we don't have, what's missing, what we've lost, what, what is it that we like, what, 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 what we're struggling with there. So the real problem is my friends is really get clear on like the problem is that most people struggle with at different stages of their life is how can they constantly appreciate where they're constantly at at this stage of their life? Because ultimately we're still alive so we get the opportunity to go from there. And what does it usually cost you when you're feeling as if like you're not appreciating where you're at in your life, Carol? What is it? What are some of the what 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 does people usually experience? What does it usually cost them when they go through that? Well, like I mentioned, a lot of people actually get sick and they get withdraw and they become more depressed. And then they become afraid to actually go forward and live the remainder of their life, however long that can be, because nobody really knows. Exactly, because that 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 cycles. What I think I'm hearing you say is that it's costing them. Like, hey, they're getting frustrated. Their motivation is going to stop them. They're feeling, and then it's, then they start feeling like they start feeling like they're frustrated. They're starting feeling like they're overwhelmed, and then they feel like then they just give up. And that usually right. becomes the personal impact. Is like they give up going after their dreams. They start giving up there, and so that's what we've usually found when it's come to with working with our clients in the past. Is that usually at some level that's the direction that they're going to go. And they're really wanting at the end of the day, they're wanting some support. 
They're wanting some support with the community and other people that can help them unleash or unspark or find that part of themselves to get them going at whatever stage they are in their life. And most of the time, they don't know where to go. Right. A big thing is just, like I said, they isolate themselves. So big thing is just community. Yeah, they want to be with like-minded people, like-minded people being people who actually want to do more with their life, who want to expand, who want to learn, who want to continue to grow. And so they're looking for that and searching for that. Yes, yeah, so community and, 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 and helping them break through that, that fog that they're having with time. So we've got great news for you. If you've been watching this video so far and we've kept your attention, we're going to give you guys a plan that we have found that if we can understand these three key steps that we can help you move you forward to help you. If you, or you know somebody that's kind of experiencing a little bit of like, hey, they're not appreciating where they're at in their life right now. We've got these three magical steps that are gonna help you like uh, have a shift and awareness that could hopefully create you moving in a more positive direction where you wanna go. The first step is awareness. And that is, to be aware of a few things. The first thing to be aware of is that we're more than just our physical body. We are a spiritual body, a spiritual being in a physical body. And there's so much more to us and we're bigger than our circumstances and anything else that surround us. And we need to tap into that. And one way to tap into that is to look back, um, as one of my mentors would say, take a kind glance back on your life and look at all the beautiful and successful things that you've accomplished through your life and actually jot them down, write them down and look at them and appreciate all that you have accomplished and not focus on the things that didn't happen or didn't go right, but focus on the things that did and you know, and be proud of all those things, celebrate them. It's almost like a, a celebration success, personal inventory of like where you are actually at and how much you have accomplished in the process. And so if somebody was to sit down and, and, and go through that first step, what do you think they're going to feel after going through that? What are going to be some of the, what's going to be some of the benefits and what's going to be some of the feelings that are going to come out after going through that process? I think the first thing they're going to feel is pride, pride that they've accomplished so much more than they even thought about. And when you think about things like pride, it raises your vibration level and, and it just makes you happier. So you're already one step closer to being happy yep and one of the things that i've heard from some of the clients that have done this before is that they feel valued they actually once they like look back at all the different things that they've had overcome and achieved and just kept going and not giving up is that they felt this sense of personal value of like hey i belong i belong i belong still on this earth and i still my purpose and my mission is is still right in front of me excellent the second step is to to start writing a gratitude journal Oh. And every day, write down at least five things that you're grateful for that day. Okay. And it could be that you're grateful for your warm home, that you're grateful for your family, that you're, you're grateful for your health. You know, whatever it is, you can find five things that either in the morning or at night or whatever time during the day that fits best for you is to write at least five things in your gratitude journal. It could be you're grateful for the sun came up or the flowers in your yard. Find something, and it also raises your vibration. So why is it important that, because we hear it, a lot of people talk about gratitude, 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 and appreciation. It's almost sometimes you hear in the world of like self-development and, and growth and training, be grateful, be grateful. So I'm going to ask you kind of a, a, a thought-provoking question if you're ready for this. Why is it important to be grateful. Why is it truly important to start recording? What is it you're grateful for on a daily basis? What is that actually going to do? Why and what is that going to do in their life? Well, think about this. Your thoughts create your emotions. Your emotions create your action and your action creates your results. Mm. So you want to start with your thoughts. And if you thought, if you start your day with being grateful for things, it just changes your mindset to be in a much better mindset so that your thoughts can generate happier emotions. And just think about it. When we go to do things and we're in a happier state of mind or feel happy in our heart, then we do things much more efficiently and, and get things done. Where if you're sad and depressed, 
more, more likely you're going to roll over in bed and not get up and not do the things that you say you want to do. So if you don't have those actions because you're depressed, you have certain results. But if you do take actions when you're happy, you have other results. And so it all goes to the results that we want to have at the end of the day. Even being grateful for the things that didn't work out for you, even being grateful for the stuff that that you weren't expecting to happen that wasn't part of your plan, being grateful for the mistakes, being grateful for the, the setbacks, being grateful for all of it. And why is that important for you, for you to be grateful for when things aren't going your way or even the frustration or even the set? Why is that important, Carol? Oh my God, Patrick, that's such a good point because think back through your life. When did you learn your greatest lessons? Mm. You always learned your greatest lessons after you've had a mistake and you've overcome it. Absolutely. When everything goes smooth, you really, you know, you take it kind of for granted and, and you appreciate it because really life should flow. But when we do make a mistake and we have to think back and overcome it, that can really learn a lot. Yeah. Yep. I, and I just want to share with you, it was a period in my life where everything fell apart. I was doing really well and I took a different direction and it wasn't working. And my friend was like, look at you, look at what's going on in your life. And I was just basically doing an entry level position just to get by several, several years ago. You used to have this achievement and everything. He goes, what did you learn about this? I said, you know what I learned? I learned how to be more kinder, loving, and compassionate towards myself. And I think underneath that kindness, that compassion, and that love is really what we happened was, was a sense of gratitude for just being alive and being able to experience life and life for what life is about, life and life's terms. The third thing that we can do is to help somebody else, right? Lend out a helping hand and, and pull somebody up who might be struggling as well. Because when we're helping others, we get out of our own mind and our own troubles and our own worries and you know it's another way to really look at how grateful you are for the things that you have when you have the ability and the knowledge and the time you know to help someone else yes and and then that is such a huge 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 plan step point is that so often we get stuck in our problems and our struggles and and we just are like oh my gosh Poor me. And then we look out and we'll see that person, unfortunately, that might be homeless that just needs a smile or a hug or maybe a little bit of money. Or we'll see all there's a thousand examples where somebody needs it there. And I think it goes back to our human psyche is that we're never alone, but maybe our mind tells us that we're alone and it just helps us become better. Right. Because we have to remember we're all connected. We're all yep. part of one universe, you know, universe, one verse, one song. Absolutely. So. Mm -hmm. We've got good news for you guys. If you're still on this video at this point, <laughs> right on. We're proud of you. So what we've done is we put together a little like process that we just talked about. Um, and what I want you to do is we've got a little PDF down below. So there's some pre-framing that we want to ask you to do. First of all, we want you to find a space where you can block out between 30 minutes to an hour to do this process. And really give yourself a break. Maybe play some soft music. Maybe have some nice lighting. And just like go through the questions that we've done with this action plan that we've given you. Just remember to be kind to yourself. You know, we always remember to be kind to others. Or hopefully we do. <laughs> but we want to remember to be kind to ourselves too. Awesome. So can you share with us some of the successes that some of our clients have gone through this process? That they've like, that's helped help them with just doing this little, these the three-step PDF? A lot of the successes that people have is, is that, you know, that you start to get out of yourself, right? You start looking and realizing that, again, you're more than just your physical body. You're more than just your circumstances, that you can do more than what you think you can do. And you prove that to yourself by looking back at your past and seeing what you've accomplished before. Some people have actually shared with me in the past, going through this process, going through it, it, like, it was like a spark that they needed. They didn't mm -hmm. even realize that they needed a light. And from that, that starts the momentum. It starts to build the foundation for me. So what happens if somebody just, oh, that's a great video. I'm going to go on to my next YouTube video or Facebook video or wherever you're finding this video. Cool. That was great information. They don't do it. What usually happens if somebody doesn't uh, like invest the time to like just give themselves a break and, and answer these three questions? Right. If you don't give yourself a little bit of time and, and just kind of evaluate where you're at in your life with, with a different perspective, then you get stuck. And when you're stuck, it's really, really hard to see your way out of it. And that's when health issues arise, 
because all of these emotions that we have, they have to go somewhere. And if we don't put them into something fun, um, then they go internal and they become disease. You know, you want to, you don't want that to happen. No, so and just give yourself a break. If you can only answer one question, answer one question. If you can answer two, two. If you do all three, great. So what we'd like to do right now is thank you guys for your time, for watching us on Next Level Accountability. Uh, please feel free to put any comments or issues or anything you've got about this video down below. We'll get back with you. And it's been a pleasure serving everybody here. And we wish you a beautiful day where you're at in this world. Take care. This is Patrick Gary, a guide from Next Level Accountability. And we want to say some final words before we wrap this up, Carol. Yes, just also, if you have any other topics you're interested in, please also put those in the comments below. And we thank you for your time and attention. And remember, be kind. Thank you guys so much. Take care. Bye-bye.